bliss. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Five feet of fury. I just don't understand why Alexa treats everyone like they're second-class citizens. Because she's better than them, Byron. When you're better than someone, it's perfectly acceptable to treat them poorly. Is that the morals you live by? Obviously, he works with you. Alexa Bliss is the type of woman that'll stab you in the back and you'll still ask her to autograph the handle. <laughs> Speak for yourself. And from Pony Vidra Beach, Florida, Foxy Time! Alicia Fox! Hey, Alicia! Alicia! Well, you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier quiet, today. Michael, I'm getting out of here. Good, thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's she's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable, sure. I'm into that sort of thing. From Tampa, Florida, Alundra Blaze. Guys, you have to think that this battle royal will be one for the ages. Truer words may never have been spoken, Michael. This battle royal has all the elements of an instant classic. Her dominance, her unique appearance, and her unmistakable aura have all made Asuka one of the top competitors in the entire women's division. An undefeated run in NXT, NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. Time battle royal here, guys. Who do you like in this one, Byron? Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking away with a win. 
It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. The Irish last kicker. And from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT, she had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company, and now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. A true pioneer! And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix! Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. the future right here and their opponent from Knoxville Tennessee Bianca Belair WWE Universe you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. One half of the Australian duo known as the Iconics. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal. And from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Beautiful and dangerous, Billy Kay. Beautiful and dangerous, Billy Kay. You know, there's just something about Billy Kay that I don't trust. And what is that, Byron? seems so disingenuous. I mean, she smiles to my face, but I feel like she's making fun of me under her breath. She is. Billy Kay, extremely beautiful, extremely dangerous, and a real up-and-comer here in WWE. Byron, I talked to Billy Kay about you, and her quote was, he's too dumb to function. I find that hard to believe. Listen, I didn't say it. I was just repeating what I was told by my source. Good journalist. And from Scottsdale, Arizona, Bree. Bree Mama! <laughs> yeah, I love it.
Free Bella, a, a champion. She's a trailblazer in the women's revolution. She's got two hit television shows. Free Bella, a billboard example of breaking the glass ceiling and pursuing all of your dreams. Corey, you can't deny that Bray's a trailblazer in the women's revolution. And you can't deny that most of it's because there's an identical twin running by her side all the time. Mella is money! And from Staten Island, New York, the princess of Staten Island, Carmella! Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella's the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Carmella, unbelievable career thus far in WWE. And the sky's the limit for this young lady. Yeah, she would have you believe that she has done it all. She, she has. has! By herself. What are you guys, both on the bandwagon or something? I started the bandwagon. Here comes the Queen! And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. And from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. The statistician for Titus Worldwide. Tremendous athlete, great competitor. Dana Brooks, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division. Always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. You got any great stats on this match tonight at NXT for Dana Brooke? Yeah, 60% of the time, Dana Brooks' statistics are right every time. And what exactly are these statistics? Well, it depends on the situation, Byron. It's not like she just pulls these facts out of thin air. There's a lot of research. There's development. There's studies involved. Hopefully they come with a fact checker. Ever so dangerous. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember.
This will be a sight to be seen, guys, as these superstars all compete for the same goal here in this battle royal. But only one can walk away the winner of this match, Michael. And at this point, I can make a legitimate case for any one of these superstars. Amber Moon is a joy to watch, guys. Right, Amber possesses one of the most devastating and breathtaking signature moves in the business, the Eclipse. Her opponents had better watch out. What an ovation! And from Seattle, Washington. A true pioneer! Ivory, incredibly comfortable in high-pressure situations, has won women's championship matches multiple times over her illustrious career. I miss when Ivory was part of right to censor. Of course you do. They had a good message. You know, I once spent 12 straight hours on the air with Ivory, part of a program called WrestleMania all day long. You know, to this point in his life, Byron's never spent 12 hours cumulatively with a woman. Congratulations, Cole. Incredible legend, Jacqueline. And their opponent from Dallas, Texas, Jacqueline. You know, Jackie and Terry once formed a group called PMS, Pretty Mean Sisters. You know, Jackie and Terry once formed a group called PMS. Pretty mean sisters. Not only was she a trainer at Tough Enough, she actually managed Booker T. Did you know that Jacqueline was a former W... Guys, despite the fact that the title is not on the line here tonight, I still expect to see the champ fight her fight once the bell rings. I wouldn't expect anything less, Cole. The champ I know doesn't take nights off, regardless of what's at stake. T might have learned a little variation of his spinneroonie from Lana. I actually heard the same thing. I'm going to double check with my sources and get some verification on that. Well, well, tell me you guys didn't just say that. Byron, maybe you should take some dancing tips from Lana. She could probably help you out. Have you seen me do the Macarena? Lana, extremely beautiful, incredibly talented in the ring, has improved immensely during her time here in WWE. The legendary Lita is here. 
and from Stanford, North Carolina, Lita! The four-time WWE Women's Champion is here. Talk about a, a woman who's made so much history here in WWE. Remember when she was the first female, along with Hall of Famer Trish Stratus, to main event Monday Night Raw? And she was such an important part of the Hardy Boys Team Extreme. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. The firecracker of the Riot Squad. One of the only good things to ever come out of the state of New Jersey. Jersey tough. There's no doubt about that. Successful career coming in WWE. Oh my God. Calm down. From Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. God's greatest creation is here, and I couldn't be more excited. God's greatest creation is here, and I couldn't be more excited. Camera guys really need to focus on getting their cameras better. This thing is so blurry, it's making my eyes water. Nothing else matters right now, Byron. Mandy Rose, a success story from toughen up former bodybuilding and fitness champion. One of the most beautiful women to ever grace WWE. You okay over there, Corey? Don't ruin this, Byron. A true star, no doubt about it. Oh, relax, Corey. And no, she's a married woman. Listen, just because you're on a Maurice. diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. Maurice had one of the longest championship reigns of all time. An A-lister in her own right. Why does Maurice always feel it's necessary to inform the world that they're not allowed in her personal space? Because Maurice feels necessary to inform the entire world that they're not as good as she is. There's a humble attitude. The sad facts of life, Saxton. He has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question, Byron. Mickey James! Virginia, Mickey James. A six time champion. I sometimes question the fact that she's friends with Alexa Bliss. But despite that fact, she's a legend. Cole, it sounds to me like maybe you're a little bit jealous that Mickey gets to spend time with the goddess and you're not even allowed to look in her general direction. Maybe. You too, Michael? Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Mickey James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe not. Hey, Michael, Corey, what? It's glow time! I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxton, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. And their opponent, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi! The 
Blue's like having a nightlight, so it's okay. Who once beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. Naomi's one of the most respected superstars in all of the women's division. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer, Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. How can you not bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out? How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl! of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Knight Hart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The irresistible force. And from San Diego, California, Maya Jack. One of the most dominant women in WWE history. Physically unparalleled in the women's division, Nia Jax has imposed her will on everyone that stepped in the ring as opposition. An incredible pedigree for success for Nia Jax. That is a woman who looks like she owns the ring. Been so impressed with what this young lady has accomplished in such a short time. Her eyes will lure you in, but her style and will destroy you. Arizona, that is Nia Mickey Jax to a T. Go ahead, Byron. Tell us about how inspired you are. Not just me, Corey, but the entire WWE Universe. Nikki Bella, she is fearless. She is driven. Great role model as well. She had one of the longest title reigns in history. Got two TV shows. She was on Dancing with the Stars. What else do you want? I'm kind of jealous, actually. Look who's in the her house and from Norwich, England, Paige. Without a doubt, Paige has changed this entire women's division. Heck, she's changed the entire ah! WWE. Guys, remember on Raw a few years ago when Paige made her WWE debut and won the Women's Championship? A truly unforgettable night, not only for Paige, but the entire WWE Universe. Paige has revolutionized the game since that very night. And it was that night where we began the transformation from the Divas Revolution to the Women's Evolution. On the rise. And what will be a tremendous career, here comes Peyton Royce. And from Sydney, Australia, 
Peyton Royce. Byron, I was back in the locker room area earlier today, and I heard Peyton Royce imitating you. Imitating me? It was an unbelievable impersonation. She does great impressions. Spot on, Byron Saxton. Oh, and by the way, she also handles her business inside the ring. A student of Lance Storm, Peyton Royce is absolutely incredible. Look at her, Byron. Yeah, I can see her. Look, Peyton Royce extremely talented. And beautiful. Her attitude, that's something else. She's been nothing but sweet to me, Saxton. The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. And from Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Listen to this place. They're going nuts. Ready for some mayhem? Ready for some havoc? Uh, I'm not quite sure, actually. And from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Ryan. Ruby Ryan has said all along, if I was in the business of pleasing people, I wouldn't be here. I'll do things the way that I want to do them. Ruby Riot uh, doesn't care about anybody but herself. That's the way she likes it. There's a big hunt happening tonight. And their opponent from Louisville, Kentucky. Sarah Logan. The dragon ship has arrived. Sarah Logan bringing the Viking fighting style to the ring. A direct descendant of Leif Erikson. Huh, I didn't know that. I'll tell you what, though. Sarah Logan has done a very good job of turning a few heads, surprising a lot of people. She beat Ember Moon at one point in her career. That's a good job. Former NXT champion. Everything about Sarah Logan's unorthodox. Un it's boss time. And here comes Sasha. The following contest is a six-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Byron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks on Raw. Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. You should get one of those uh, rings that say graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. It's the Queen of Spades! And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 
Dakota, Shayna Baszler. She is the real deal. One of the original four horsewomen of mixed martial arts, a protege of Ronda Rousey. Shayna Baszler thrives on the fear of others. Yeah, it would be a tough point to argue that Shayna Baszler may be the toughest woman to ever step foot in NXT. Ah, oh, she's as tough as they come. Classic match with Ember Moon at NXT TakeOver New Orleans where she won the NXT Women's Championship. The sky's the limit. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Tremendous attitude, MMA background, punch you right in your face. Yeah, Sonia Deville once said she feels like she was placed on this earth to hurt people. Sonya Deville, such a force in the women's division from Tough Enough in 2015 to NXT in 2017. What a name she's beginning to make for herself in the WWE Universe. There's no questioning what Stephanie McMahon has done for our industry, but uh, well, some would say her personality can be abrasive at times. You tell her that, Byron. Go tell Stephanie that she's abrasive. Uh, she seems busy right now. Some would say that perhaps her attitude leaves a little bit to be desired. Well, she's then some, the boss. Some better find their way to the unemployment line. Well, I'm not me, I'm just saying. women's division I hope you're ready for a fight Tamina is a scary woman and from Pacific Islands Tamina that is a scary human being Oh, this is awesome. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Trish has a resume a mile long, but plain and simple, she may be the single greatest female superstar to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Yeah, a true trailblazer in the women's division. What a treat to see Trish Stratus. In a Happy Lana Day. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Moscow, the ravishing Russian, Lana! The ravishing Russian has been ridiculed and written off her entire career, but here tonight she's looking to have the last laugh and crush the competition.
Well, anybody that's ever ridiculed Lana doesn't know what they're talking about. She's incredibly beautiful. Byron. Incredibly talented. Byron. Speaks like 31 languages. Byron. Was a former social ambassador for Rusev. Byron. Byron has none of those things. Well, I know, but Byron's criticized I, all those things. I did not. That's not true. I respect Lana. The statistician for Titus Worldwide. And her opponents. First, from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana. Tremendous athlete, great competitor. Once upon a time, she was a protege of one Charlotte Flair. And now she's moved on to the lead statistician for Titus Worldwide. There's no doubt she has beauty. There's no doubt she has power, but she also has brains. She's the lead statistician and business consultant for Titus Worldwide. And I got my hands on one of those statistics earlier today. Did you guys know that Dana Brooke has never lost a match on the same day that Byron Saxton had a date? Really? That's right. Amazing Fire, Byron, when was your last date? None of your business. Exactly. And Zank Lilith Vader. Guys, while exciting, we have to remember that triple threat matches are incredibly dangerous. Especially when a two-on-one attack takes place, which is inevitably going to happen at some point here tonight, Michael. Pay-per-view just got iconic! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the iconic. Billy Kay with that signature look of arrogance on her face as she makes her way to the ring. I wonder what it must be like to be so in love with yourself. Twin magic. And their opponents, Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins. The Bella Twins. When it comes to tag teams, it doesn't get any better than beautiful twin sisters, Nikki and Brie. Two sisters who have had 
almost paralleled success here in WWE, both former women's champions, Divas champion. And what's cool to me, guys, is that despite the long road and long career here in WWE, the Bellas will tell you their bond is stronger than ever. Here comes the Riot Squad! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan, the Riot Squad. Look, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan will readily admit, listen, we're not the best of friends. We don't have a whole lot in common except for one thing, and that is to run the women's division in WWE. Yeah, the Riot Squad's always about having a little bit of fun as well. Byron, I swore to Ruby I wouldn't tell. It was your suit in the shower. Look who's here! And their opponents, Mandy Rose, Paige, and Sonya Deville. Absolution! Be still, my beating heart. Mandy Rose, God's greatest creation, and the rest of Absolution are here. never seen you become so mesmerized by one person, Corey. I have never seen a person like Mandy Rose. Oh, what about Sonya Deville? Yeah, she's cool too. MMA background, of course, Paige. Uh, youngest woman in history to win a championship. And in case you're unaware, this is her house. How'd you get in here, Saxton?